Well, we're in the Lake District and there's plenty to be had. I'm currently at Little Latter Forest Park, which is one of the biggest and best forests in the Lake District. And with me is Nathan Fox, who's part of the Forestry Commission here. Could you tell us a little bit about the forest, the activities and what you do here? Yes, certainly. Um, the forest has been here for a very long time. The Forestry Commission started in the early 1900s uh, with a remit just really for producing timber. But as time's progressed, um, our attitude to managing woodlands has changed dramatically. So you come to a place like Winlatter, which is England's only mountain forest. Fabulous scenery, fabulous area. Um, and what we can now see and what we now offer are lots and lots of different facilities for families, for individuals, for groups, for all kinds of people. Things like the fabulous play area that you see behind us. We've got walking trails we've got cycling trails, uh, we've got orienteering, so a whole host of different things the forest is, is here for now. Um, you can kind of come here to watch wildlife, I mean Winlat is a, a red squirrel refuge, um, national red squ squirrel reserve, and um, there's ospreys here between April and September uh, breeding in the forest. And there's also a bit more adventurous stuff, so we've got Go Ape which is a high ropes course and which is above us as we speak today, um, and then there's also kind of mountain biking as well which is very very popular. We've got two mountain bike routes at the moment, we've got a red route um, and a blue route and they're graded um, a bit like ski routes are so there's really something here for all the family um, and you can be as um, adventurous um, or as sedate as you really want to be in the forest. Now you're aware of the activities that they have here at Winlatter Forest and because we're up for adventure we're going to be mountain biking today and we have got Joe, Joe from Cyclewise, could you tell us a little bit about how to get started with the mountain biking here at Winlatter? Sure yeah well uh, basically here at the forest we have trails suitable for any ability really. Uh, if we start off with our Quercus Trail, which is a blue graded trail. It's a family route, described in a way, however it's still a full of mountain biking route, so you know, people are just starting out, may just got to manage it, however, more, more experienced riders can take a little bit faster, a bit more extreme. Moving away from that, we have the Altura Trail, which is uh, split up into two different loops. Each loop is around about 10 kilometres long, one slightly easier than the other, uh, with the south loop. Similar to the Blue and Away, just taking a bit more extreme, a bit rocky route sort of thing, a bit faster. And the north loop is more technical again, rocks and routes, you know, just great fun. And uh, the trails can take you all over the forest, some awesome viewpoints over Don't Water and so on. So you do competitions here with the mountain biking, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so every spring and awesome time, you know, in during March we have our Win Latter Mountain Bike Challenge, which is an endurance event. All in all, it's about 50 miles long. No, not 50 miles, 50k. That would be a bit extreme, that one, yeah. So uh, that takes you around the forest using some of the trails that we have here, also some different sections, bridal ways, and so on like that. So, uh, brings hundreds of people here. It's great to see, you know, just uh, everyone on the start line and where you go. And moving on into November, we have the Winlatter Giraffalon. Uh, so it's a 5k run, and I'm not too sure how long it is this year. About a 15k ride, then a 5k run again. And that same again uses bits of the Archer Trail and Quirkus Trail for that one, yeah. And where, where do you find most bikers come from? Is it Cumbria or do they come from all over? To, to all over the place, they really do, yeah. With the lakes being so accessible, um, especially the North Lakes, access up the M6, then along the A66, you get people from all walks of life, all over the place coming here, yeah. And what, what do you think of the quality of the mountain bike in the Lake District? Is it good or...? Some of the best. Is it? really is, yeah. yeah. So moving away from the trail centres that we have here, uh, you've got all the bridal ways in the Lake District. You know, you can go out and... Uh, anything really, there's uh, no limit to what you can do. Yeah, so can you tell us a bit, little bit about the bike we're going to be using today? Uh, the bike if you're on yourself today is a full suspension bike. It's just something that Cube have offered. Uh, it's a 130mm travel bike, which means the amount of travel the rear axle has through its path. 140mm fork on there, great disc brakes. Ideal bike for around here really, just super fun trail bike to play. Can you tell us about the clothing that we're going to have to wear today? Yeah, well basically starting off with, um, it's a nice Breathable jersey, which you, you wear next to your skin. On a day like today, uh, with it being a bit outside, maybe a base there underneath, this should keep you going. Once you start moving anyway, warm up a little bit. And just go over the top of that, because it's not too cold. It's a super lightweight, pack light waterproof. Um, you feel how thin that material is, you know, it's uh, yeah. very, very breathable. Yeah, I keep it cosy. 
And just keep the water off your bum as well. Nice pair of waterproof shorts. Absolute godsend these are in the winter, you know. Yeah. Okay, Joe, let's grab the kit and let's get going. Mm -hmm. Excellent, so looks like you've got your kit ready. Yeah. Um, I'll just grab the bike for you. So here we are, your idea vehicle for today. Um, as you can see, pretty flash kit, you know. It's good. Excellent little bikes, yeah. So if yeah. you just want to hop on that, right. see how that feels, and away you go. Yep, all right, Joel, thanks for that. No worries at all. Right, let's go for it, fingers crossed. Smashing. Well, what can I say? The Altura Trail here at Winlatte is absolutely fantastic. You've got brilliant views of the Lake District, some high peaks, you're right in the forest, and you've got some fantastic downhills, uphills. It's got the lot. If you come to this part of the Lake District, you've got to come and do this. Now, if you feel you've exhausted all the shopping and excitement that Ambleside has to offer and you feel like getting out of town, you don't even have to jump in your car. There are loads of walks that take you right from the centre of town into the heart of the Lake District. The one we've chosen brings you from the centre of Ambleside, through Rothay Park and up Loughrigg Fell.
So this isn't even the top of Loughrigg Fell. In fact, we're only 30 minutes walk from the very centre of Ambleside. But look at the views. What a brilliant base if you want to try a little bit of walking without doing too much. Yes, you can go to the top of the mountain if you want, but you don't have to. The views are still amazing. On horseback is the way to see the lakes. Riding holidays, trail riding, trekking, beach rides, we do it all. Over 40 horses ready from beginner to advanced rider from 3 to 60 years old. An exciting sport for all. Riding lessons in our indoor school. BHS training courses, Saturday afternoon pony club, adult riding club, all with our highly qualified trainers including specialists in classical dressage. Bigland Hall Equestrian, premier riding in the Lake District. Crashing waves. Stylish cafes. Discover the Lake District Cumbria at golakes.co.uk forward slash the lakes. Lakes TV is the TV channel for the people of Cumbria and those who love the lakes. Bringing you the best that the Lake District has to offer, Lakes TV broadcasts on Sky Channel 201, 203 and Freesat Channel 403. For full listings and to watch on demand, visit lakestv.net.